Welcome back, Dooney Addicts. I have an unboxing. This one, I'm just going to completely go on record and say that it is an unnecessary purchase. Um, but I made it anyway because this collection um, has been so difficult for me to find. I have one other piece um, out of this material and I thoroughly, thoroughly um, enjoy it. So I decided to pick this up. First thing, the color that I wanted um, was not available by the time I talked myself into making the purchase. So I compromised on a color and then no sooner than the item showed that it had shipped, the color that I really had in mind became available again. So I just decided, you know what, if it was originally meant, if it was intended for me to have the bag in that color, I would have gotten it. Um, but I think you're going to be surprised by the color that I ended up getting. So what am I rambling on and on and on about? <clears throat> it is another addition to my Dunienberg travel pieces. I picked up the Dunienberg getaway weekender bag in the Cabriolet um, fabric in the color brown. Yep. <clears throat> For all of the times that I say I don't do black or brown, I'm unboxing a brown travel bag. Now, I landed on this because it's a, it's a classic color combination. I really liked the look of all of the browns together. I thought it's going to be a lighter weight than any of the other travel pieces that I have. It has uh, great durability. Like I said, I have um, another bag. I have the Brooklyn tote, large tote in the red and blue combination. And that Cabriolet is just phenomenal. And this is the same material. So I love, again, this color combination between all of the browns look at those color combinations the light khaki the sierra leather the dark brown um, cabriolet this bag has six feet under the bottom it has a web adjustable strap and that web strap is secured on the bag by these little leather tabs that help to keep the strap from slipping um, all over the place. The strap is adjustable. It has the little adjustments here, um, like a Boy Scout belt, and no outside pockets or anything like that. So let's see what this tab says here. It says waterproof. Dooney and Burke's exclusive new cabri cabriolet cloth is the same woven cloth that fine automakers use for their convertible tops. Cabriolet cloth is stain resistant, totally waterproof, and virtually maintenance free. Our cabriolet cloth is made to be completely fade resistant. In fact, it has to pass a rigid test equal to equal years, years of constant exposure to sunlight in the Mojave Desert. So this is, I'm reading the little book. Um, it says that it's lightweight. Despite their quality and durability, these bags are surprisingly lightweight and inviting to carry. You'll take them everywhere. Um, and then it talks a little bit about the leather. <coughs> Excuse me. That the bags are trimmed in either naked or matching leather. Naked leather gradually darkens to a rich honey color with time and exposure to sunlight. Water spots and natural leather markings will, in time, simply blend into the uniform honey color of the leather. 
and it says that each bag has unique characteristics and comes with an individually numbered tag ready for you to register as your own. Simply fill in the requested information on the guarantee card and mail it to us. Keep the top portion for your records. So it's been a long time um, since I've seen, you know, Dooney with these kinds of tags. And I'm in love with this bag. So what I'm thinking is that instead of my little small carry um, luggage that I've been using for work, I am going to give that up and switch into this lighter weight travel option. And with the new travel on uh, total toiletry kit that I have, between carrying those two, I should be able to get in and out of the hotels with a little bit more ease. As far as the outside, it has the leather hang tag strap. <clears throat> it has two handles. And again, it has the web um, adjustable shoulder strap. Large zipper across the top with a um, leather zipper pull. On the inside, it has our favorite red cotton twill lining on the inside and this bag opens up and it is huge. Now, I'm a heavy packer. I believe in carrying everything with me when I travel because when you're getting dressed in a hotel, you don't have the option of running back upstairs, grabbing whatever um, is missing. So it has to be in this bag. So I will really put this bag to the test. Like the fact that it has a little bit less structure, which means I should be able to pack it down a little bit more. It has a large zipper pocket on the back wall. And by large, I mean it goes to the bottom of the base of this bag so I can see me dropping my um, water pick uh, um, yeah my water pick um, a sonic toothbrush in the case and my Clarisonic back in that um, pocket and having all of that with me and then a large slip pocket here in the front <clears throat> there is also um, on the back wall two slip pockets a smaller one this one would be perfect for um, a cell phone or um, what else could fit in there well I'll let you know when I figure it out large base to the bottom of the bag this is a travel piece so there is no key keeper for this bag there is also not a dust cover because this is not a leather bag and Dooney only, only provides dust covers for its leather pieces. So I am pleased. Um, it's dark enough that if you just took a quick glance, this dark, dark brown could pass for black. Um, I did not want black because I have several other black and brown travel pieces. But um, I really had my eyes set on the navy. Thought long and hard about the light tan color, but I am just not convinced that, um, you know, that that light color is not going to share, show a lot of wear and dirt easily. And I don't want a travel bag that I'm constantly having to spot clean. So the darker color option was the way to go for me. Um, so yeah, I travel next week. I have one overnight business trip and I'm going to go ahead and give her a test run because I think I have finally found a good replacement for my weekly travel bag. So thank you so very, 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 very much for watching. Um, until next time, I do hope that you're finding something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care.